Hey everybody, welcome to the Motor Reviews. Today we're talking about a pouch from Elite Spanker. Yes, I know, it's another Amazon pouch. But it's for something specific, and I also was curious. So I decided to grab it. Um, I have a ton of these types of open-top uh, taco-style pouches. Shit, I've got a bunch of actual tacos. Um, but I wanted to try one of these for something I'm working on. And I was curious and said, fuck it, why not? So real quick, when you get this, uh, the tags that comes on it, I want to show you guys these. Uh, has this multicam tag on it. That claims, according to this tag, unless they're just straight with no shame copying these tags. Uh, that means it's real multicam material. So, hey, whatever. And just to kind of show you, so this is a uh, GBRS sling. That's, which is obviously definitely real multicam material. I mean, looks looks pretty pretty authentic. I mean, that's the same same length actually, the same widget. But whatever. Just want to point that out. It looks really good, and I was shocked. I was actually blown away even. Um, quality of the pouch is pretty good. Stitching is pretty good. Uh, I was really surprised um, that it comes with the pull tab on top. It's a little short. They could have given you a little more length of shot cord, in all honesty. So we've got the uh, Lancer style mag from uh, SOCOM Gear uh, EMG, e whatever, you know what I'm saying. Uh, fits perfect. So this was definitely sized for airsoft magazines, and I'll show you what I mean. So this is a G&G &G mid that's sized damn near almost exactly one-to-one -one for a real magazine. You really got to work it to get it in there. And with that being said, an AK mag is not going to fucking close up on there. It'll fit in the pouch. It'll retain, but you're not going to use this uh, retainer with an AK magazine at all. But that's not a big deal because the whole point of the mag is just to Get an AK mag in there, or a pouch. So I don't even need to run this little tab if I don't want to. That's just added security. And I'm kind of kind of curious how well it'll retain um, without it, personally. But it'll definitely hold it, so that's kind of cool. Overall, I like the pouch. Um, a little better than I expected. To like it, to be honest with you. I was really expecting this to be complete dog shit. And I got it. I was like, kind of like, oh, fuck. It's not too bad. Uh, I'm a little little leery of this cord lock in the back. I won't lie to you guys. Uh, these things, um, when they're not ITW locks, they tend to be um, less than good and break pretty easy. So we'll see how that's going to be over time. Um, also, this shock cord... Uh, a lot of this stuff, if it's not good, shot cord will lose its elasticity really fast over time. It won't be very good, so we'll see. Um, on the inside of the pouch, you have the Elite Spanker tag here. So that's where they hide it. So there, otherwise, it looks like there's no no badging or tagging on the pouch at all. And then on the inside, you do have. I'm gonna bring another light over here so you can see it. Uh, you do have some loop Velcro there, and on the back area there that's to help with like uh, friction and retention of magazines I'm assuming if I remember correctly that's why it's on the HSGI's as well or maybe it's to run a lid I can't remember but um yeah not too bad uh, the other area that might be an issue over time uh, will be these snaps um, some of these cheaper snaps can break really easily uh, over repeated use I've run into that with cheaper mag pouches in the past as of the, we'll see how that holds up and how that works. And if that does happen, you just fucking cut these off and put some uh, malice clips back there and you're good to go. But with that being said, uh, these are sewn in really nicely. The stitching is pretty good. And unlike a real taco, that's one of the differences. It has its own uh, molly clips basically sewn directly onto it. So that is a difference. So if you don't like malice clips and you want a taco style pouch that gives you a taco ishness um and you don't have a ton of money like you're a younger airsoft guy and you're balling on a budget well here you go you have the uh 
Molly adapter, Molly attachment points back there. And uh, you get your taco ness without being an actual taco, and it's a lot cheaper. So, duty use, eh, maybe. It might actually work. It's not terrible. Definitely uh, looks the part. It's a real multicam. Um, might require a little TLC to make it work really good. Like I said, uh, this is kind of a really tight fit with a real standard bag. You might have to loosen this up a little bit to get a little more reach or completely replace this top shock cord uh, with some new shock cord. And shock cord's cheap. You can get this stuff off like uh, uh, mil spec, mil spec uh, monkey. And then I want to say it's like a couple bucks for like a yard, which is like three feet. So definitely can swap that out with some different shock cord. Hell, you can swap all the shock cord on the entire pouch out with a different shock cord if you're really uh, that concerned for next to nothing. And then have new shock cord and even a new cord lock and be good to go. So overall, not terrible. I, I would definitely say um, if you're if if you're really on a budget and you want the uh, look and style and functionality of a taco, but you can't afford a taco. Why not give it a, give it a look, give it a try. Um, if you're trying for something like I'm doing, where it, it kind of actually is something that's necessary to look like your kit half a portion of your kit came off of Amazon. Um, then definitely want something like this. So I got to say, Lee Baker uh, definitely surpassed my um, my expectations. Yeah, and also um, believe it or not, I have seen Lee Baker stuff being used by special operations units in Europe, uh, some of the smaller countries, and that is still weird to me. But hey, it sometimes you don't have a ton of money, man. Not everybody, not every uh, soft unit has JSOC money. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you got something out of this review and this video. As always, uh, I appreciate all my uh, OG guys out there, all my OG subs. You guys are awesome. And thanks for the support and all my new guys. I hope this was something uh, you liked. And if you've been kind of checking my stuff out, I hope you continue to enjoy uh, what you're seeing and you stick around. As always, LARP hard, uh, make some cool kits. And hopefully see some of you guys on the field one day. Take care.